The Biggest Snowman Ever by Stephen Kroll, illustrated by Jenny Basset. The Biggest Snowman Ever. One, there were once there were three. There were two mice who fell in love with the same snowman, and this is how it happened. On white, on one bright winter day, the mayor of Mouseville announced the town snowman contest. Whoever makes the biggest snowman will win a prize. He declared. All the mice were excited. The judging of the contest will take place in two weeks," said the mayor. "Good luck to all of you. I'm going to make a really big snow princess," said Penelope. "I'm going to make a really big snow Martin," said James. "I'm going to make the biggest snowman ever," said Clayton the house mouse. His friend Demson. The field mouse frowned. "You are not. I'm going to make the biggest snowman ever." "Oh yeah," said Clayton. "Oh yeah," said Dempsey. Then, that night, the snow it snowed and snowed. Huge drifts covered driveways, roads, and fields. It was the perfect beginning for the snowman contest in town. Penelope began her snow princess, and James began his snow Martin. Out in the country, Clayton and Dempsey began their snowmans. Clayton made a snowball and rolled it along the ground. The more he rolled, the bigger it got. Before long, he had a large race for the snowman. Not far away, Dempsey was doing the same. The next day, Clayton made a huge snowball for his snowman's belly. Not far away, Thompson did the same. That night, Clayton brought his dad out to see a snowman. His dad scratched his head. I don't know, son. It's going to be big, but I'm not sure it will be the biggest. Clayton smiled up at him. I'm just getting started, he said. Dad whispered in his ear. If you want to work faster. Use a wheelbarrow to carry. Use a wheelbarrow to carry the snow. At last, Dempsey brought out his uncle, Veron. On, I don't know," said Veron. "It's going to be big, but it will not be the biggest." Dempsey smiled. "I'm just getting started," he said. Veron whispered in his ear, "If you want to work faster, use a wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow to carry the snow." The next day, Clayton filled his wheelbarrow with snow. He piled the snow in into the snowman. Then he rolled another snowball for the snowman's head. Not far away, Dempsey did the same. A few days later, Dempsey ran to town and looked at James Snowman, Mar- James Snow Martin, and Penelope Snow Princess. Hmm, he said, all the snow people are the same size. That afternoon, Clayton made the same discovery. The next day, while working on his snowman, Clayton had an idea. He brushed the snow off his gloves and walked toward Dunston. At the same moment, Dunston had an idea. He brushed the snow off his gloves and walked toward Clayton. They bumped into each other and fell down. I have an idea," said Clayton. "I have an idea," said Dunston. "We should do it together," said Clayton. "No one said we can't," said Dunston. First, they rolled each part of Dempsey's snowman over to the middle field. Then they rolled each part, each part of Clayton's snowman over. They piled the snowball on the top of one other. Clayton dripped and flopped a hat on the snowman's head. Dempsey added a long scarf, huge coal eyes, and giant carrot nose. That when they were done, they had built the biggest snowman ever. The morning of the contest, field mouse mice in the snow bowl, snow balls, brought the judge to the county, to the country. You both win the prize," said the mayor, handing Clayton Dempsey a large weight of Swiss cheese. Let's. 
let the celebration begin. Everyone gathered to dance around the snowman. Hot, drink hot chocolate and eat donuts. We did it, said Clayton and Emston, jumping up and down. We did it together. The end.